Hi Wairimo. Hi. Karibu sana to CLC. Thank you so We are much. so happy to have you here. We can start with you introducing yourself. Who is Wairimo? So my name is Wairimo Kanyi Kahoro. I am a wife and I'm a mom of three. I have two girls and a boy, a little boy, yeah. and um, I'm an author. I'm so proud of this book. It's yeah. called Wired Weird, yes. and I think that that's why I'm here. I'm very, very excited for that. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, I'm a mom mindset and life mentor. That's what I do on a daily basis. What does that mean? Yeah, I know. It sounds so big. <laughs> yeah. It just helps moms... Um, for us to kill the limiting beliefs that we have in our minds, you know, mm. because there's something that God has in store for us. Yeah. There are these thoughts that just keep creeping in and, you know, mm. almost tell you you cannot be able to do that. Mm. So as a mindset coach and mentor, I have the privilege of just helping moms know mm. that there's so much in you. Yeah. And these thoughts are causing you to just be limited in mm. your potential. So that's what I do. And of course, wow. when it comes to the life mentor, it's just helping them now. You have a vision for your life. Let's mm. set goals and then let's crush them so that you also live out the life that God already designed for you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. How many moms are you mentoring? Wow. Right now I have nine moms, yeah. um, but they constantly come because I have a program, an eight-week program. Mm. So they come, do the eight-week program, yeah. then they go into the marketplaces if that's where God has called them to. Mm. There are those who confirm that they are called to be stay-at-home moms, which yeah. for me is the biggest wow yeah. because we look down on that profession. Absolutely. But also for moms to know, okay, this is where I've been called to be. Yeah. So as after that, I just keep them accountable now for their goals. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You know, that's important because <laughs> my husband and I, we were talking about, um, you know, the homemaker. Yeah. And it looks like, you know, when you tell someone I must, I must stay at home, mom, um, yeah. like, okay, you have no life. Very but it's, it, it's also a calling. It's actually yeah. the primary calling. Yeah for each and every woman as, as you become a mother and a homemaker. Yes. And then all these other things we do, they should come to end on top of that. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> Why are we had very interesting uh, book? Yeah. I think the title, I really like it. It communicates here. We are just saying, you know, you're wired the way you're wired. Yeah. There's a purpose. I can just be able to get that yeah. uh, from the book. It's an award-winning book. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Akaba 2022. Yeah, 2022. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. We're so happy that the judges could find, you know, the book, yeah. you know, interesting enough. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us, when did you start writing? Uh, was it a calling from God? Yeah. Did you just find yourself in it? How did you get to start writing? It's your first book? It's my first book. Yes. Um, so because I'm a coach, yeah. one of the things my coach told me is if you want to reach more people with impact, you yeah. need to write a book. Yeah. Because a book will reach further than you'll ever know. That's true. So I want to say my first, the reason I wrote the book yeah. was a, 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 almost a push mm. and a stretch goal from my coach. Mm. But I've been reflecting a little bit and notice I've always had a notebook. Yeah. I've always written down mm. my thoughts. Yeah. I've always been that child who takes the teacher's notes and then summarizes <laughs> because I'm like, I don't know what they said. Yeah. I'm a visual learner. So mm. I think when I've been reflecting, I'm like, I've always had, mm. I've always had a paper Somewhere you're and writing. a pen. I've always written. Yeah. What I did know is I could write a book. Wow. That, that was like, what? Yeah. yeah. But again, I think when you're learning to obey God, yeah. if he tells you do something, yeah. you just do it. And mm. then now seeing the way it's impacting people, yeah. you're like, okay, yeah. God knew something. That wow. I didn't know. Wow. Yes. So how did you get to write this actual book? So why had we had, okay, like I said, um, it was a stretch goal. And what my coach made me do is write on a piece of card my name and the name of the title. I had a title yeah. um, because of an incident that I had in my life where mm. somebody really questioned the person that I am. Mm. And I started asking God questions mm. because I'm like, are my relatives lying to me? Are mm. my friends loving me but backbiting me on mm. the side? So I wasn't quite sure whether I am who I've been thinking I am. Yeah. And I remember when I left the conversation with that lady who really hurt, hurt me, yeah. I went and, and wrote down in a, in a paper because mm. I always have the notebooks. Yeah. And I said, God, you're the one who wired me mm. in this way. You're the mm. one who created me. We had deal with it. <laughs> so it's I didn't problem. even know it was a book title yeah. at the time, but yeah. that's how the mm. title came. Yeah. And um, so after that, then now I started writing down the thoughts mm. where I went and said, okay, I can write the book now. Yeah. I think I know what I can write about. Yeah. There's somebody who is struggling like yeah. me with who they are. Yeah. And if they get to know 
who yeah. they are and who they are called to be, then they can show up in life yeah. unapologetically. Absolutely. Yes. And just know everything about you, it's on purpose. Yes. So there's nothing that, you know, God was like, oops, that one has, you know, mm. okay, sour. Let's no. just, everything <laughs> yeah. is on purpose. Everything. Awesome. So how was the journey for you? What was the most challenging thing when you're writing yeah. the, the book? I think the assumption, because I tried it on my own, mm. I didn't seek help. Yes. So I started, okay, so I knew what the title was. So one day I went and sat down in a small restaurant place mm. and I wrote down the chapters because yeah. at least I knew that yes. as a basic, is yeah. a book has chapters. Yeah. I came up with the chapters and like summary sentences sentences mm. so then now you have to fill the pages <laughs> and i didn't know i didn't know that you don't have to go chapter by chapter yeah so when i i got a block i i stopped writing for like mm. a year plus because i was like i was just imagining i yeah. could write yeah and, and it's not it's happening confirmation, i cannot write yeah and so i i just got a block mm. until one time i met a friend mm. and she was just saying hi we were in church and she said, oh, I'm just from helping so-and-so mm. write his book. Wow. I was like, you help people write books? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so because I already had the idea mm. and, and, and more or less the, the um, what do you call it, the bones, mm. then she was able to now help me. Mm. But then she's the one who now taught me that yeah. you don't have to go step mm. by step. You mm. can just, if, if, if chapter five is where the aha moments have come, jump mm. there, mm. type, but keep moving. Don't mm. stop writing. Mm. Um, yeah, so that was a big breakthrough, but I think the biggest challenge was that the second challenge was printing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Sadly, I think that's a story for many authors. Yes, yes. Um, where you have no control. Yeah. You finished your manuscript. Yeah. Um, the the file is who, ready. The file is ready. We've handed in. We've even paid deposit. Yeah. And then the gentleman who had my account left work, didn't tell oh, anybody dear. that I had this project <laughs> I was working on. So we are writing emails. So where is it? Yeah. Because we are also two weeks. It will yeah. be ready. Oh, we waited, we yeah. waited. I think three months is when wow. I finally got my book. Wow. Then they spoiled my, my cover. Yeah. So we had to redo. Wow. I was so discouraged. But yeah, you know, you're just thinking, <laughs> this is so much. I know, I know. Yeah. But um, I think what came out of that is I was so patient mm. that the gentleman who was finally given my account was like, I want to know about this God of yours mm. because wow. how are you patient? Yeah. I would not be patient yeah. if I was in you. So yeah. I think what came of that is people are watching. Yeah, they, You cannot say you're a Christian. Yeah. And then in moments where you should display yeah, and encourage just like, the most, <laughs> you act like every other You know, person. in Shaks, they would say, let me put Jesus aside. Let me first show you. Let me show you who I am. Because <laughs> you've gonna put pick money him. Yeah. Yeah, in this dream and you've told everybody yeah. have a book in two weeks and yeah. then it came three months yeah but i thank god because i'm better for it yeah, yeah. wow what was your highlight moment <sighs> the place where you're just like Ooh, this journey is awesome okay so i'm um, i was labeled averager Mm. Average, no one cares for averages. People mm. care for the ones at the top yeah. and the ones at the bottom. The bottom These ones they need to be helped, helped. No one expects anything <laughs> yeah. from us. When I caught the book, yeah. I was like, for real God, like yeah. you did this. Yeah. An average, somebody yeah. who was told you'll not amount to any. Oh gosh, yeah. I was just like, this is your God. Yeah. Yeah. So when I held the book, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Amazing. It's like a baby. When you yes. finally see this just little thing baby. that has been in you yeah. all along and they have a face, they have a little of you, they have my yeah. my babies had my hair. I was like, oh, yeah, this is mine. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah. I was so excited to yeah. you know, hold the book. Yeah. Um and, and then not discounting when I, I, I got the message that I won an award. Yeah. Like God is just like who and is God? on top of I know, everything. I adding on yeah. top, um, yeah. especially where you have doubt. The same way I help my, you know, ladies with their self doubt. Yeah. I also had mm. doubts because this was a, a zone I had never traveled, mm. something I'd never thought about. Yeah. So it's it's joyous to not only have the book yeah. done but also be acknowledged mm. by others who have written books and mm. know what the, it is that they are doing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, amazing, <laughs> amazing. Yeah. So what's the message that you want to pass when someone reads cover to cover from beginning to the end? Yeah. What will someone get um, okay. from your book? All right. So first I wanted to write it in a conversational tone. I mm. didn't want, you know, when you think author, you just think uh, like set book. Yeah. Where, like, when you read the page, you're like, what, what was she talking about? <laughs> So I wanted yes. the person reading first mm. to feel I'm there with them, like we are, yeah. like the way we are talking, like yeah. we're just having a normal mm. conversation. 
So I wrote it in a conversational tone, giving my personal story. Mm -hmm. But my desire is, as you're reading my story, you think about your story. Wow. Because um, my subtitle is the journey to, um, you know, discovering God's cues, clues, and mm -hmm. calling in my story. Mm -hmm. So my desire is that you start seeing God has been orchestrating mm -hmm. everything in my life. Like nothing has happened by mistake. Mm -hmm. A teacher telling me you'll not amount to something was the yeah. thing I needed to be who I am today. Yeah. And that while it hurt me that time or I believed it so much, mm -hmm. I did the rest of my life mm. believing that is that it is God who was orchestrating. Wow. So my desire is that everybody who picks up this book thinks about their story and, and they're mm. like, so that failure or that challenge, mm. it was God orchestrated yeah. so that I'm who I am today. Yeah. And when I was thinking, I was like, when I entered a HR class for the first time, I was like, this is what I want to do with the rest of my life. Yeah. And that was a bread crumb that God had, mm. had left. And when I got my first HR job, Mm. I didn't like admin work. Yeah. I didn't like <laughs> filing. I didn't like that. Yeah. Part. But talking to people and just encouraging them. You were okay with that. I was okay. But yeah. what God was leading me to is coaching moms. Coaching. I didn't know that. Yeah. But when you sit down and think about your story, you're like, so everything was to work out for good. Wow. For wow. Yeah. Amazing. Because <laughs> I, I think I, I told you last week there's a book, um, uh, The Grand Weaver yeah. by Ravi Zacharias. And just saying every thing is just so you know interconnected yes. you know like it's like god has those oops moments yes. like oops that one i, I didn't know. <laughs> know everything is so yeah. intentional and so i like what you're saying even with the failures yeah. with the successes mm -hmm. with you know people who said something everything actually the bible says everything works out works for, for good yeah. so god just takes everything and brings you to this point yes. where you are not an award-winning <laughs> author <laughs> And I still be cannot believe, Mother, yeah. I cannot believe that yeah. that actually happened. Yeah. But you know, I also discovered new things as I was writing the book. My yeah. husband has contributed a little bit yeah. because I was never to get married. I was yeah. never to have to. That was not me. That, me and God, I had told him I yeah. was going. And then he decides to <laughs> change my You had your direction. plans. <laughs> in fact, in the book, I say God threw me under the bus because we had an arrangement. Yes. I was to serve him forever and die. You yeah. know, yeah. yeah. Um, so hearing, because I'd given God, yeah, I want X to happen. Mm. I had three things. I yeah. needed God to do, to, yeah. to confirm. Yeah. It is him who is sending me in that direction. Yeah. And to he read my husband's side, that, oh, that's why you asked that. Which yeah. I had. So also knowing what God was doing on his side. Mm. Um, so you, you were calling it connecting the dots. Connecting like, the dots, yeah. Because I had never asked him, how yeah. did you know to ask me mm. one, two, and three? Mm. So that was so interesting also wow. to just see that is not just my story. Mm. Our stories are so interconnected. Absolutely. Yeah, I would not be here if I didn't have a friend who submitted a book. Yeah. If she didn't step up, I would yeah. not probably yeah. have thought, you know, to submit yeah. my book for yeah. consideration. Yeah. So all our stories are also intertwined. Very, it's yeah. it's the big picture. You know, I, I tell my children that, you know, we are the entire earth, actually universe, yeah. it's like the chessboard. Yeah. And God can see all the pieces. You know, as we can't see all the no. pieces, we only see our part, yeah. you know, and we can see this step and that step. But God is seeing everything. Yeah. And he knows I'm waiting for this, your friend, to submit in which year? 2021. 2021. To submit in 2021 so that she can hear it's a he. A she, she. Yeah. so that she can build faith for a remote yes. to you know submit in 2022 i mean yeah. everything just working together yeah. for our good yeah. and god has a bigger plan yeah. that sometimes um i like something you said it's just in obedience if we obey the one he has told us mm -hmm. It will impact us, but it will also impact the lives of other people. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So you're here, you've defined all the odds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the only thing we can do as Christians is to go back and tell people, see I now where I am. No, we can't, can't do that. Can't. We just tell God, thank you so much that yeah. we've gotten here. We yeah. celebrate you. We celebrate the book and we pray that it will continue to impact as many lives as possible. Yeah. Now speak to a person who is starting to write or feel God is calling them to write. Right. Yeah. Um, speak to that camera. Yeah. Uh, tell that person what is your, you know, want of advice yeah. or wisdom that you can share with them. Yeah. So my encouragement to you is we are not born authors, but we are called to be authors. Mm -hmm. There's a message that before the beginning of time, God uh, gave to you. And it's not yours. It's for somebody who God needs to bless. Mm -hmm. And so if you feel that God has called you to write, 
just take the keyboard and write. Or if you're like me, you need the pen and paper, just write it down. Be in obedience with God. It will all make sense because he's orchestrated all the moments of our lives. And one day somebody will come and say, thank you for writing that book. And that's when, for me, I keep hearing, well done, good and faithful servant. So be in that space of obedience or faithfulness. And one day when you go before God, he will hug you and say, thank you. Yeah, and well wow. done. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. We all want to hear those words. Eh? Know. You know, in that same scripture, yes. there are those who are told, go and do not know. You're yes. just thinking, say what? Yes. <laughs> those are the ones who didn't write their books. <laughs> it's like I told you to yeah. write your hand 50 books and you did not even write yeah. one. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. We are so blessed to have you. Of course, here today, but also in the program. Um, you guys are such an inspiration and that we can preach the gospel of Jesus Christ using the gift that yeah. he has given you guys. Yes. All right. Thank, thank you, you so Mabani. much. Thank you so much. Awesome. And also for what the work that you're doing in CLC. Mm. I just thought writing the book, that's it. So yeah. I've obeyed. The yeah. book is done. <laughs> so there's more work. Yeah. I love the excellence that CLC has wow, where you're pushed you. to know that your book is not just something you go around, you know, throwing titles and saying mm. I'm an author. Mm. It's it's work that God needs to keep continuing, yeah. keep growing, yeah. so that then we have the next book yeah. that keeps you keep being elevated, mm. and then you encourage others to also follow suit. That's so true. I'm very very thankful also to be in this community of people who are pursuing excellence. Awesome, yes. awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah.